Hey, Cancel Kitty, let's talk about Ascent of the Matterhorn. This, to me, is... I don't know if it's necessarily as... If it's better or worse than the other Chuck Jones cart... Than the other Chuck Jones written ones. But it shows... There's a lot of, like... Anyway, poses... And you could easily redraw Pepe as Bugs Bunny for half of the for half of the images. Um, yeah, I know I'm kind of going harping on Chuck Jones as a writer because, well, he's not the world's strongest writer. Sorry, people. Anyway, in this, it's a it's a very typical Pepe cartoon, except this one. This one involves snow, and I guess it's supposed to take place in the Swiss Alps or the Alps, or whatever, or wherever the Matterhorn is. Honestly, it just seems like it's it's a very typical Pepe cartoon. Um, she, uh, Cancel Kitty doesn't necessarily want to say the plot. She didn't get a whole lot of it. But what I'll say is that in this one, it's very obvious. It's not what Pepe does. I'm sorry, people. I have no idea what just happened. Anyway, um, she's just she just doesn't like how he smells, and I can understand. But I mean, there's nothing in this cartoon that's any that's really any different apart from the location. And even then, I don't know. Maybe Chuck was going through a winter phase because there's and. One thing we didn't mention in Who Sent You and now this is that I'm not sure, but I could almost guarantee they repeated Roadrunner or Tasmanian Devil sound effects. So, Cancel Kitty, what are your thoughts on this cartoon? Well, Can you please speak a little more? Didn't really get much out of it. Kind of went by fast. Yeah, because it's less, it's like, it's a little over six minutes, but we've been fast forwarding through the intro. So it's even, sh so it's like barely six minutes. The kitty kind of reminded me of the kitty before and with the painting. It is the same cat, Penelope. The man that was painting the middle of the road and the dog that gets dumped with paint on top. That's kind of like, it reminded me of another one. Yeah, there was another Pepe cartoon where that happened. So there wasn't really much new stuff other than she'll be back when she goes down the Matterhorn and curves up the other side and then curves right back into his arms. And then the end, the glass... The non-ending? The glass museum, like, funhouse. Yeah, it was just icicles that showed her reflection. lots of skunks for him and close the door do not enter Blue. or no do not disturb like a hotel room you understand uh is this cartoon <laughs> just just say these questions to yourself and then repeat it because it's it's tough for me to repeat them It's just that people he's think not he's not being written anymore, is he? Well, it's because of the movement that there hasn't been Pepe cartoons. But there were um, episodes of New Looney Tunes that redesigned him as like a French spy with his, with Penelope as his assistant. Kind of like a James Bond like thing. Oh, that would be cool. But so this cartoon is not worth the anger or movement? No, I don't think so. Are you depressed that you're going to see just one more Pepe cartoon? No. And we know you're and we know as a cat you're biased because you're the last one that you really loved was really sent because it was told from the cat's point of view, right? Well. Do you want to try that again or no? Well. Okay. 
people join us next time when we review the final Pepe cartoon. <clears throat> Bye.